What do you think of the Verve? Verve? Brilliant band. I really like the Verve. Um, I was living in Brighton with my ex-girlfriend and uh, I remember listening to Northern Soul and it reminds me of being there a lot. I had a really good time though, it was top. Northern Soul's a great album and the new one, um, Urban Hymns, that's really good, I love that one. What do you think of the fact that uh, the Stones got all the money for their single, uh, what is it called? Bittersweet, Bittersweet Symphony. Symphony. Do you hear that story? Well, yeah, it was Andrew Luke Goldman's um, loop, wasn't it? It was his, it was his symphony that was playing it. Nobody recognized it until they told him. <laughs> it's really, a bit stupid, right? It's honesty, though, isn't it? You know, what goes around comes around. Would you guys ever consider doing a cover or using samples that way? Yeah. What? I do samples like that, but as long as they're unrecognizable. Um, So yeah, yeah. You're I'm not going to tell us what they are, right? No, we're, we're going to tell. Them. Used any yet? But I've got some ideas. I'm writing to some some pieces of like really old classical stuff. Just you can use them for free because I mean they're classical music. Yeah, yeah. There's no rights in that one. <laughs> well, I see. You see, I'm not daft. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this I don't know. This uh, there's some bits of old classical music that sounds really t- you know really cool because it sounds really fucked up as well, doesn't it? Because it's really old and it crackly and just put it on a loop. Sounds top, man. What do you think of poetry? I like it uh, as long as it's not. I've been trying to get into that Jack Kerouac geezer, and I'm sorry, but a lot of it's a load of bollocks, isn't it? Why? I don't know. You know Who's from the street? So far with it and stuff, but you know, yeah, yeah, no, but it's, I don't know. Sometimes I just think I could imagine him there, sort of reading it out in front of people, and just thinking, "Fuck off." Isn't it all about poetry? It depends. Sometimes it could really move you, can't it? And other times it can be um, somebody just being a groovy word bender and, and trying to inflate their own ego by how many times they can twist these words around and stuff, which doesn't appeal to me at all. But I do like some poetry. Um, I got a book of poems by uh, Leonard Cohen, and he's good because it makes sense and it isn't about him. You know, and he does sound really miserable, Leonard Cohen, but he's actually really, really funny. Yeah. Do you like f- the soccer? If you feel like? Um, I don't know. I suppose I like it a bit more than I- shit. Got me biscuit there. Um, I like it a bit more than I used to do because everybody in this band are like football fans and stuff, and I was never really that bothered with it. So you're forced into being a soccer fan now. Well, you know, you just get bombarded by football all the time, so it's sort of, yeah, either, you know, if you can't beat them, join them sort of thing, but... So you're a Man United fan now too, right? No, 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 no. Um, I'm not really... I don't really support any particular teams. I should do, because I'm a bloke and I'm supposed to do that. Yeah. Apparently, in this world of stereotypes but no I don't know I think York City are boring and I think Leeds are alright because they just beat uh, West Ham last week which is good a couple of days ago football nah. I just like the fact that Steve uh, Steve our manager he's City he's Man, Man City and, and John's Man United and them two are like at it like hammer and song every day you know what I mean <laughs> arguing with each other and stuff it's great about football so I like that aspect of it uh, the artwork uh, on the Seahorses album is done by John, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Next one too? Yeah, he does all of them. The thing is about John is he'll never let anybody go shopping for him for clothes and he'll never let anybody, he won't trust anybody with anything visual. He'll so he's the Ben dictator? No, he's not a dictator at all. It's just that he knows what he likes and he's got a better idea of it than I have. I'm colorblind, so I'm be fucked, won't I? Are you really colorblind? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In what sense? So you can really see. Well, that could be blue or purple, right? Uh-huh. What color is it? Dark blue. Right. And that could be a uh, yellow or a light green. I don't know what color that is. Red. Right. Yeah, it's sort of <laughs> red green, I suppose it's called, but it's just. Uh, so what do you see? I mean, I see all the colors that everybody else. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh crap, we're getting clothes, yeah. man. So why are you wearing a yellow shirt in the green? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> no, I do. I wear a lot of black because it's because uh, I'm, I'm I'm terrible when I go shopping. I just can't I can't choose clothes at all. 
um, ties as well. You know, and I remember I used to wear ties because I, I was working as a waiter in a bar once. I had to buy a tie. Came back with this tie that was just looked like I'd been sick down my shirt. It was horrible. <laughs> but um, yeah, God, yeah, colour blindness. I was a graphic designer for two years as well, which was even, you know, I don't know how I got away with that. But it's safer than being an electrician or something. At least I didn't electrocute anybody. So. What's the worst job you ever did? Um, Doing interviews? I worked in a, um, a factory that made toilet seats. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually make the toilet seats. I was, I was, when I was a student, we used to, me and my mates got a job there, and we used to, um, we used to go and sweep up all the bits of plastic off the floor and that. And, uh, God, yeah, there's these people that just made toilet seats all day, and they'd be there just going, Psh! You know, just making these toilet seats. That's all I did all day. Some of them have been there for 20 years, you know what I mean? Doesn't that make you think? Well, that's why everybody's that. reading the sun, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Quite a lot of them were sun readers, actually. Um, <laughs> it's no coincidence. No, it isn't. No, you're right. But it, what an existence, though, you know what I mean? Eight hours of your day for however long doing shit like that. I'd rather be on dough. I'd rather be begging on the streets or something than doing that. At least it's more fun. Still, the majority of people prefer to stand in a factory. Yeah, why? Keep the economy going and all that bollocks, isn't it? I don't know. Write a song about it. I already have, but it's uh, it's an old one, and I've grown up since then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. When will you guys play here? Pardon? When will you guys play here? Have we not played here yet? When? When will you guys play here next? First, first new gig. Uh, You don't know. I haven't got a clue. Um, <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It'll be next year sometime. Okay. I know we've got three months off um, yeah, after Christmas, three months off to write, and then uh, just going to finish off the songs that we've got for this next album. And, uh, and then we'll be recording, and then we'll be touring. So it'll probably be sometime in the summer, hopefully. But I want to play it, though. I thought we'd already played it, but we haven't. I've been doing I've done press here. <laughs> I've never, I've never played it. It's top place, Amsterdam. Love it. Yeah. Do you, you feel any pressure for your new album? Not at all. No. Well, I, the only pressure that you get is from journalists, and I don't write songs for journalists, so there's no pressure at all, really. If they don't like it, they can fuck off. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>